Coming into today's game, Sean Tucker's longest carry of the season was for 13 yards. Syracuse was waiting, pleading for that home run hitting play, and today they finally got it as Sean Tucker crossed the 40 yard line, made a jump cut, and 60 yards later found the end zone for his longest carry of the season, part of a 200 yard game, the second of his career. So, what was different today with the Syracuse Rudd game? SU head coach Dino Baber says the offensive line was sick of hearing the criticism. I, I just think the guys are, they're, they're just, there's a lot of want to, you know, they're just getting tired of hearing people talk about it, maybe me, and, uh, and they just wanted me not to talk to them again for the next week. <laughs> so uh, I'm glad they're tired of hearing my voice, and I was really happy with the results of it. Definitely, I would say I just put in more work, uh, you know, just try to do extra, um, you know, working on my speed, working on what I'm best at, and uh, it showed them too. Well, Tucker in the ground game certainly got their swagger back today. 23 carries for 232 yards and three touchdowns for the running back. Big reason why Syracuse is off to a perfect 5-0 start for the first time since 1987. And that year, you can take one of these to the gas station and get a gallon of gas. But throw the records out the window because SU is only halfway through its schedule this season. A bye week next for Syracuse as they prepare for NC State in two weeks. The Orange need just one win and have seven tries to get that win to claim bowl eligibility for the first time since 2018. Reporting from the Dome, I'm John Eats, Citrus TV.